everybody and welcome to your science video. Um, today we're going to refresh your memories a little bit and we're going to do some crafts or like some drawing, okay? So, first of all, I'm going to talk with you about the environment and about the habitats. Do you remember what the meaning of environment is? Do you remember the mountains and the beach? Do you remember what the meaning of an environment is? The environment is everywhere plants and animals live. So it is where they grow, remember? So all plants and animals environments is also affected by the weather. So for example, do you think that the environment of a camel, would he be happy? in a cold and rainy environment? No. So it's affected by the weather. And what about the habitat? What is a habitat? It is the home of a plant or an animal. So what do you think that is the habitat of a worm? Does it like to fly in the air or does it live under the ground? So under the ground is the habitat of the worm. So all animals have different habitats or places where they like to live. Let's see what else that we talk about, about these things you know about grouping. What happens or what is the meaning of an extinct animal? What is the meaning of extinct? It is an animal that used to live here on the planet, but doesn't live here anymore. So you cannot find any of those animals here anymore. They used to live here, but now not anymore. Can you think of some animal that is extinct? So that used to live here, but now not? What about a dinosaur? Dinosaurs are extinct so they don't live here anymore yeah okay so to start the activity i'm going to show you a short song about the habitats first of all can you think of some habitats can you think of some different habitats can you sing them in your head yeah okay so now we are going to see the video let's go it's a song and I hope you like it. I'm a camel from the desert habitat. My home is the desert sand. There's less water and less food, but I store it in my hump and I so what is the habitat of this camel? What is its habitat? The desert. Very good. My padded feet help me walk on the hot sand Because I'm a camel from the desert habitat So we have the desert habitat. Which other ones do we have? I'm a goat from the mountain habit Those are goats, yeah? What is its habitat? They live in the mountain. Tet, my home is the cold mountain land. I have thick hair to keep me warm from the cold winter storm. I have hooves to walk on tricky rocky paths because I'm a goat from the mountain habitat. So we have the desert habitat and this is the mountain habitat. The grassland habitat. Another one. I'm a fish from the water habitat. I like to live amidst the rich corals. I can swim with my tail and fins and breed with the help of my gills. I eat smaller fish and plants on the waterbed because I'm a fish from the water habitat. 
the water habitat. Fish live in the water, that's its habitat, yeah? So, what is the habitat of a camel? The desert. Okay, good. And do you see that the weather affects the habitat of the camel? Because it's so super hot and dry, so there are almost no plants. So how is it possible that the camel can survive without eating and drinking so much? He stores it all over there. Interesting, isn't it? That's called science. So there are not so many plants, but the camel is able to survive because it's his habitat. So the weather affects the desert habitat a lot. And what about the mountain habitat? How is it possible that these goats are able to survive when the, when the mountains get covered by snow? The, the goats are still able to survive. And why? Because they have lots of hair to protect them, right? So they look different than a camel, for example, because they live in different habitats. And what about the tiger? He lives in the grassland habitat. He has really good eyes so that he can see in the dark. So he adapted to his habitat. And what about the fish? How does a fish breathe on the water? <laughs> you remember? Isn't it strange? So all animals look different and they have different uh, parts of their body who are adapted to their habitat so that they can survive, so that they can eat and drink and that they can grow. So. Well, I hope that you liked it and I think that now you are ready for um, some other activities and then at the end of this um, of the science uh, class <laughs> we are going to do um, some kind of art craft. You will need a paper and some colored pencils. You can use whatever you want. You can also use paint or you can use clay or you can use recycled materials. You choose. Okay, so I'll see you there. Bye-bye.